Liz and Russ, this is one of the seven schools that shut its doors today because they said so many staff members had called out to participate in the protest. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. What do we want? A seat at the table. Durham Public School staff and supporters marching around the Central Services Building are demanding a resolution to a pay dispute that some workers say is causing them to lose hundreds of dollars in promised raises. I feel like what they're doing is very wrong. Although teacher salaries are not affected, many joined the protest and seven schools had to close due to staffing shortages. This all comes after the district announced last month that it had overpaid 1,300 classified employees. While they're allowed to keep the money they were already paid, going forward, their salaries won't be what they expected. And some say they're losing credit for outside work experience. At the beginning of the school year, they took my 20 years of experience into consideration. And then January, I did get an email saying that they was bringing me down to step zero, which cuts my pay over $600. They're having to fight for something that they should be entitled to anyway. Lisa Howes, whose daughter attends one of the schools that was closed, says she sympathizes with the workers. But she also worries about schools closing for protests. With the public school system, they should have that in mind that the children are not being educated during this period and they're not being fed. She came to pick up meals for her daughter and neighbors who couldn't get here. The parents that have to work, you know, that are thrown into this situation of having to provide care. She hopes the district can come up with a plan soon that will make staff members content and keep them working. And the Durham Associate Association of Educators listed several demands, which include no pay cuts in their February checks and also being brought in for a work session with the district. Now, again, a special meeting has been scheduled for Wednesday. We've also been told by the Durham Associate Association of Educators that plans are in the works for a possible picket on Wednesday afternoon. It appears that would be after school hours. We're live in Durham. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.